Good morning, guys. My name is Irina. I'm a yoga instructor with YG Studios. And this morning, I'm joined by Christine and Marianne. And we're going to lead you through, through invigorating yoga practice. OK, so we're going to start on our hands and knees. When you come onto your hands and knees, spread out through your fingertips. Your, sh your shoulders are right on top of the wrists. Knees are directly under the hips. Curl your toes under. Keep your toes curled under. And when you inhale, draw your shoulder blades away from the ears and lengthen the spine forward. When you exhale, uncurl your toes. Round the spine and pull the belly button up. And again, inhale, heart forward and lengthen. Exhale, round the spine, bring your chin to the chest. One more, curl the toes, heart open, fill your belly and your lungs. Exhale, round the spine. This time, when you inhale, curl your toes and open the chest. Exhale, pull the hips back into downward facing dog. Drop your head. And then make sure that your feet are hip width apart. Take an inhale and lift high the balls of your feet. When you exhale, press the heels back down and lengthen your neck. Now on your next inhale, come forward into plank position. Shoulders are right on tops of the wrists. Exhale, pull back again, navel in, press the thighs back. From here, bring your feet together. Shift the weight to your left leg and reach the right leg all the way up and open the right hip and bend the right knee. When you exhale, come forward, bring your knee to your chest and round the spine. Again, inhale, full breath. Exhale, round the spine, knee to the nose. One more, inhale, heart open. Exhale, knee to nose and very gently step that right foot forward. Beautiful, bring your left knee to the floor. So make sure that your ankle and your right wrist are closed in the same line. From here, inhale, lift the hips, sorry, lift the chest and pull the hips forward. Exhale, pull back and lift the bottom of your right foot. Two more, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, go all the way back. One more time, inhale, exhale, all the way back. From here, come forward, take your hands underneath your shoulders again, lift the back knee up. Step the left, the right foot forward, take a breath and look forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, just baby cobra, lift your head, neck and chest, relax your tush, press the feet down. Exhale and release. Come onto your hands and knees as you inhale. Curl the toes under and lift your hips back again. Take a big breath in through your nose. When you exhale, side out of the mouth. Open the jaw, stretch and relax your face. Now bring your feet together again. Shift the weight to your right leg, lift the left leg up. Open the hip, bend the knee so you stretch the inner left thigh. When you exhale, round the spine, chin to the chest. And again, inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, knee to nose and round. One more, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step that left foot forward. Bring the right knee to the floor, heart open. And again, inhale, hips forward, open the chest. Yes, ladies. Exhale all the way back and lift the bottom of your foot up. Two more, inhale. So right here, you're connecting your breath to your movement. Exhale, pull back. One more, inhale, heart open. Exhale, all the way back. Inhale, bend the left knee. From here, find your back knee, lift it up, and this time you're gonna step your right foot forward towards your left. Feet are hip width apart. Take an inhale and lengthen the spine. Now soften the knees a touch, and then fold over your legs. Grab the opposite elbow to your other hand, and just hang forward. Take two breaths, breathe in. So Marianne, separate your feet hip width. Yeah, awesome. So that allows you to lengthen your lower back. Take a big inhale, let it go. Release your hands, slowly roll up to stand into Tadasana, open the shoulders, and now heel toe your feet together. So we'll move through Surya Namaskar, which is a sun salutation to just move and shift the energy. Take an inhale, reach the arms out, around, all the way up, palms together, look towards the sky. 
Exhale, fold right over your legs. Hands to the floor, soften the knees, forehead to the shins. Inhale into a flat back. Open the chest, hands to the floor, step the right foot back. Step your left foot back into plank position. From here, you if you are a beginner, bring your knees to the floor. If you feel a little stronger, legs stay up. Inhale, exhale, halfway down. This is Chaturanga. Upward dog, pull the spine up and roll the shoulders back. Exhale, roll over your toes. Downward dog, three breaths here. So allow your breaths to be deep so that your lower back starts to lengthen. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale it all the way out. Press the thighs back, heels down. Good, now inhale, lift high the balls of your feet. Look forward and exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Step your left foot to meet your right. Come halfway up again and lengthen. Exhale, fold right over your legs. Press into your feet, arms out to the side. Lift, route around and up. Exhale, hands at the heart. Feet together. Awesome, so we're gonna move on into Surya B. Inhale, sit low into chair pose. Utkatasana, lengthen the tailbone, pull the navel in. When you exhale, fold right over your legs. Make sure you're breathing deeply. Inhale, flat back. So from here, we're going into Chaturanga. So you can step back and lower like we did before, or you can hop back. So I will hop back, and ladies will just step back. Look forward. When you exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, lift the chest. Exhale, hips back. Downward dog. Now, as you breathe in, reach the right leg up, open the right knee, bend it. Exhale, knee to nose. Right here, turn on the inside edge of your left foot. Extend the left arm up. So you can stay here and work on your obliques, or if you feel stronger, extend the right leg up. Exhale, left hand down. Right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, and step that right foot forward. Bring your back heel to the floor. Warrior one, stretch all the way up, pull your waist in so that you're getting a nice straight line. Take a big breath in, exhale, warrior two, move the right foot slightly over. Left hand down into your back thigh, reverse back, touch the right hand to the back of the room, exhale, hands down. Breathe into plank position, halfway down, back up, upward dog downward facing dog full inhale let it go now shift the weight to your right leg left leg up open the hip bend the left knee stretch exhale knee to nose turn on the inside edge of your right foot lift the right arm up and extend the left leg if you like or keep it bent right hand down inhale left leg up and back stretch open your knee Exhale, knee to nose, and gently step the left foot forward. Bring the back heel down. Yes, warrior one. Breathe, inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, move the hands out. Take it back and reverse, touch the left hand to the back of the room. Exhale, hands down to frame the front foot. Link position, halfway down, Chaturanga. Upward dog, pull the spine up downward dog two breaths here breathing fully in exhale it out you're welcome to side out of your mouth one more breath now from here bring your knees to the floor your knees are together widen your ankles apart and then take your hands your thumbs and roll the calf muscle out of the way so you have more space in your knee joint and lower down. Now, if this is a challenging posture for you, keep your hands right here and just kind of keep your weight up with your hands until you open up. If you're a little more flexible, tuck the tailbone, come down and hang out here. Christine looks super flexible, so she can come down onto your forearms. You can come down all the way on your back. See that how awesome that is? I'll just stay here, three breaths. <laughs> Breathing fully in and out. Allow your knees to lengthen away from your hip bones. Two more. One more breath, inhale. Exhale it out. 
let's slowly come all the way back up you're gonna come onto your hands and knees cross your ankles behind you and then very slowly roll through extend your legs and hop yourself to the center of the mat from here reach the arms forward so this is one of my favorite things to do when I do yoga is to really build the core strength right so lift your shins up the important part is I always say when you do this is that you smile the whole time right pretend this part of your body is on vacation right and just your core is working stretch the arms now keep your knees at 90 if you bring it lower it's actually much harder so you want to either keep it at 90 or if you want to challenge yourself lift the legs up spread out through your toes pull the core in one more breath here when we exhale gonna come halfway down straighten the legs good now inhale again knee to the chest or the legs up three more exhale back up two more inhale don't forget that you're smiling exhale one more and back up good so we're gonna do five counts to come down to the floor five four three two and lower beautiful now bend the knees walk the feet towards your heels so you have the option for a back bend really to open up the heart center and pull and uh, kind of exp uh, expose the energy um, so Christine will do the full wheel option so you can come into a really really big back bend and Miriam will just come into bridge pose so will I so if you're going into full wheel you're gonna take the arms up to the ceiling and place your hands alongside the ears if you're doing bridge pose your hands are on the floor alongside your body press into your feet and your hands lift the hips up if you're coming into full wheel like Christine lift the heart press it towards the back of the room and then Marianne and I will bring the hands at the small of the back press up two more breaths one more and then inhale lift high in the balls of your feet lower down beautiful bring your knees to the chest so you of course all of these postures you can hold a lot longer if you're practicing on your own um, for the purpose of our broadcast we're making it a nice express flow so to say now from here separate your knees wide happy baby hold on to the sides of your feet press your knees down take three breaths lengthen the back of your neck relax your jaw here and perhaps even close your eyes heavy shoulders full inhale let it go one more breath from here you're gonna take your right knee release the legs right knee on top of the left bend both knees and try to snuggle your right big toe behind the left calf muscle if that's not happening this is fine as well you're gonna take both knees to your left let it touch the floor reach the right shoulder to your right and breathe deeply right into the whole right side of your body full inhale allow your right shoulder to melt down again breathe in and out one more breath come back to center unwind your legs left knee on top of the right bind your big toe behind the right calf beautiful and then come down all the way with your knees to the right side open the torso to your left great full inhale exhale it out and then come back up from here take your hands right here squeeze the knees in one more time and then extend your legs straight let the legs naturally rotate open palms rotate open to the ceiling lengthen the back of your neck close your eyes so this is Shavasana it's one of the essential postures of the practice so try not to ever skip it even if you're just here for 10 seconds it's really amazing for your body to regenerate to um, for your immune system to also kind of reboot so you're literally beginning your day all over again and then from here deepen the breath stretch the arms over your head bend your knees you're gonna roll to your right side and then press the left hand down come on up into a seated position cross your legs 
And then from here, as you cross your legs, bring your hands to your heart. And before you move on with your day, take a moment, invite your whole body to participate in your life. Invite your breath. And then inhale and lengthen and symbolically open your heart. When you exhale, bow your head down in deep gratitude to yourself and in deep gratitude to your body. Namaste.